the best way to understand the meaning of jihad is to understand what the scriptures of Islam have to speak about jihad. What is mentioned in the Quran and the authentic hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When we read the Quran, we come to know it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Hajj, chapter number twenty-two, verse number seventy-eight. Strive and struggle in Allah's cause as you ought to strive and struggle. Do jihad in Allah's way as you ought to do jihad with sincerity and discipline. For Allah has chosen for you and has not put any difficulties in your religion. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number nine, verse number twenty: As for the believers who suffer exile and strive. With might and main, in Allah's cause, with their goods and their lives, these are the ones who shall attain the highest rank in the sight of Allah, and they shall go to paradise. They shall achieve Jannah. They shall achieve salvation. A beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "It's a hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number four, in the book of Jihad, hadith number forty-six. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, said." That Allah's messenger said that the person who does jihad in Allah's way, and Allah knows best who is doing jihad, who is striving and struggling in Allah's way. The person who strives and struggles in Allah's way, and Allah knows best who is striving and struggling in His way, is like a person who continuously fasts and prays. And Allah has promised him paradise. If he is killed in the battlefield, or Allah returns him safely with rewards and war booty, it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah An-Kabut, chapter number twenty-nine, verse number six, that as to those who strive in Allah's way, they do it for their own souls. For Allah is free of wants; He is not in need of His creatures. So, if you strive and struggle in Allah's way, it is for your own benefit. It is not for Allah. Allah does not require the help of any of His creatures. He is free of all wants, worthy of all praises. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number four, hadith number two seven eight four. Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She asks the Prophet, "Can we join jihad?" and the prophet replies perfect hajj is the best jihad for you it's mentioned in sahih bukhari hadith number 5972 a man asked the prophet that can he go for jihad the prophet asks him that do you have parents he says yes for you serving your parents is jihad it's mentioned in sunan nisa'i Hadith number four two zero nine. A man asked the prophet, "Which is the best of jihad?" And the prophet replies, "The best jihad is a person who speaks a word of truth against the tyrant ruler." It's mentioned in Sahih Nihban, Hadith number four six eight two, that the prophet said, "A mujahid is a person who strives and struggles against his own nafs, his own desire for the cause of Allah." And muhajir is a person who migrates from falsehood to the truth. From all these hadith, we come to know that the best jihad keeps on changing depending upon the situation. When the prophet told the man that, "Do you have parents?" The best jihad is to serve your parents. The prophet knew that his parents required him. It does not mean always. Serving your parents is the best of jihad. For that particular person, because his parents required him, for him, the best jihad was serving his parents. So, depending upon the situation, the best jihad changes. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Furqan, chapter number twenty-five, verse number fifty-one: If it was our will, we would have sent a warner in every center of population. Next verse, Surah Furqan, chapter twenty-five, verse fifty-two says, "That's why, do not listen to the unbelievers, but strive against them strenuously with the Quran." 
your Quran is talking about jihad bil Quran strive and struggle against the unbelievers with the Quran Quran is talking about doing jihad with the Quran that means you have to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the non-muslim and today I think the best jihad according to me today is jihad bil Quran strive and struggle against the unbelievers by spreading the message of the Quran